Welcome to Simply Explained, where we simplify complex ideas. Let's dive into a game changer in modern software design, microservices. So what exactly are microservices? Imagine a giant, intricate machine with thousands of tightly connected parts. If one part breaks, the whole system comes to a screeching halt. This is how traditional monolithic software systems work. Everything is interconnected and dependent. But what if we could break that machine into smaller, independent units that each perform a specific function? That's exactly what microservices do. Think of it like a restaurant. The chef, waiter, and cashier each have a distinct role. They operate independently, yet collaborate to deliver an excellent dining experience. Similarly, in microservices architecture, each of services handles a specific task and communicates with others over a network. Okay, but how do microservices actually work? In a microservices architecture, every service manages one distinct function. For instance, one service might handle user authentication, another manages product data, and a third processes payments. These services use APIs, think of them as digital messengers, to share information without being tightly bound to each other. This independence allows services to function as individual building blocks, much like Lego bricks that combine to create a larger structure. Why should you use microservices? Flexibility and resilience. Think of a bustling city where each building represents a different service. If one building, like the payment system, needs renovation, it can be upgraded without disrupting the rest of the city. This modular design allows microservices to adapt to changing needs efficiently. You can update, replace, or scale individual services like enhancing the user authentication service without impacting others. It ensures that your software remains reliable, scalable, and ready to meet growing demands. But wait, aren't there challenges? Microservices come with their own challenges. Managing multiple services means more network communication, ensuring seamless integration, and addressing security concerns. But tools like Docker and Kubernetes come to the rescue. Docker packages each service into lightweight, portable containers, while Kubernetes helps orchestrate and manage these containers efficiently. Together, they make microservices practical and scalable in real-world applications. Let's see how this works in the real world. Let's look at Amazon. Every feature, searching for products, adding them to your cart, making a payment, is powered by separate microservices. This approach allows Amazon to innovate quickly, roll out updates without disrupting the entire system, and handle massive traffic during peak times like holiday sales. So, where are microservices headed? As software complexity grows, microservices are becoming the backbone of modern technology. They enable applications to be faster, more resilient, and more adaptable. Far from being just a trend, microservices are setting a new standard in software architecture. That's it for this episode of Simply Explained. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more simplified insights.